Hey guys, here is the One V smartphone from HTC, which also is also called as the T320e model, coming with a 1 GHz CPU speed and with the Android platform. The phone comes with a 512MB of RAM and with a 4GB of internal storage along with a micro HD card slot using which you can extend the same memory. Now when you talk about the options available on the phone you can check out on the top you have the 3.5mm headset jack up, followed with a notification light here as you can see a small light. Next is the power on off key, the volume rockers. On the left you have the USB connectivity slot. On the bottom there is a microphone. On the back you have the speakers with the Beats audio logo on it and the HTC logo with the on the top you have the 5 megapixel camera with the LED fla smart flash. Now let us just boot this phone for the first time and check out what it actually offers you. So here we have the phone which is booted up as you can see in the Fosh boot mode and it says that you have no sim card in this phone. Now let us just proceed with the setup options. As you can see on the screen it says select your language, tap on English next. It would say insert sim card to place the calls for which you need to slide the sim card into the back. So in order to insert the sim card into the HTC One V smartphone you need to open the back cover for which as you can see on the screen itself you have the tutorial on how you could remove it as you can see here you need to pull the bottom part towards the down and once you are done you remove the slot and you have the option to insert the micro SD and also the sim card here this is the option where you need to insert the sim card once done push the back cover onto the phone and you're done so that was how you can insert the sim card onto your HTC One V smartphone once done let us just proceed with the skip option as of now and then it will ask you if you would like to insert uh, connect the phone using mobile data or Wi-Fi or just Wi-Fi in our case we would go with the Wi-Fi option and then do you want to schedule a sync as you can see here Go for automatic sync data so that all your data is stored all the time. Next, I would ask you to log into your HTC account for getting access to the apps, widgets, and wallpapers which are offered specifically by HTC. Skip the option as of now, but it's suggested to sign up for the same and download those beautiful applications. Once you're done with these things, you have an option to log in with your HTC account. So, in order to get the 25 GB of Dropbox space, for which you need to log in to your current account or else create a new Dropbox account. So, the next step would be setting up accounts. You have different services listed here, ranging from Google, Facebook, Dropbox, all the services which you can sync right away by logging into these services. Tap on next. And the final option is transfer my stuff which is a facility offered by HTC when you can transfer all your settings and data from your previous phone to the HTC using the Bluetooth option. You can check out what all phones are supported here under which, range, which is ranging from Apple, Blackberry, LG, HTC, Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, Sony and others. So once you're done with this, you have completed the setup process for the HTC One V and you are ready to go. Anyway, so here is the home screen where you can see different pins are listed here and you can scroll through them by swapping left towards right or right to left. So that's the home screen part and here on the bottom you have the phone dialer, SMS, contacts, application screen and the camera. When you tap on applications you get a list of all the applications which are available on this phone. It also shows you a quick tutorial wherein it says right now that press and hold an app to uninstall or add to home. So that's okay for us, we are quite familiar with the Android iOS or the Android interface. So here as you can see all the apps are listed and by default HTC gives you a few applications pre-installed like the 7 digital, Dropbox, Flashlight, Flashlight is the app using which you can use the LED flashlight as a torch. You need to tap on this button to increase the intensity of the torch light as you can see here so this is on the highest option 
apart from that you get different other applications like the eBuddy XMS FM radio maps navigation Savan which is the Bollywood music application Soundhound Tether transfer this is Google talk Wi-Fi hotspot uh, tune in radio so I would generally say that these are uh, there are more bloatware on this device rather than you can say that it's a useful application because everyone would not be interested to listen to music and uh, HTC has added all these music kind of Bollywood applications on your phone pre-installed next talking about the other features like the camera the phone comes with a 5 megapixel camera when it clearly right now says that your storage card is full which is under the major disadvantage because it says that it comes with a 4 GB of internal memory space space which can be increased but even if you are not able to use the by default 4 megapixel uh, 4 GB of space then that's a major drawback and HTC should be working on this so when you talk about the camera you have different modes one is the cam normal camera mode and the one other one is the video mode so for camera you have different settings listed here as you can see you have image resolution ranging from VGA to 5 megapixel that's 640 by 384 to 2592 by 1552 with the video quality also having an option of 720p and then you have different other settings like the continuation shoot shooting mode and other camera options include face detection, auto smile, white smile, geotag auto upload feature is again linked with your dropbox service wherein you need to enable this and whenever you take a snap it's automatically updated to your dropbox account apart from that in order to quickly enable or disable flash you have the options on the top left which is this way right now the flash is enabled this way it's de uh, disabled and this way it's in the auto mode as you can see here so that's how you can perform few of the settings apart from that you also have different settings for the camera mode as you can see for camera scenes right now it's under auto mode but you can also set it to HDR panorama group portrait close up that's for the macro mode and low light mode if you're confused with all these options generally it's a suggestion to go for auto mode and then it is just try to capture a photo and see how it comes up so as you can you would have clearly heard that we actually heard only two times the shutter sound but there were actually four photos taken and HTC has this option of offering you continuous photo shoot option wherein once the shoot is done you need to select the best shot using this option by selecting the best shot and then tapping on the same wherein all the other photos would be deleted on and only the best shot would be saved so tap on the yes and this would be done so as you can see that specific photo is saved and the quality is pretty good with sharpness and there's not much distortion in this photo apart from that the phone camera application comes with a few filters filters as you can tap here and check them out like let's say if you would like for, to go for big net mode you can check out how it really looks on the preview itself now this is how the final picture comes up so there are a few filters available as you can see here and based on your preferences you can set them up and try them out so that's about the camera you also get the zoom function which is actually digital zoom so you can expect not very good quality in this case because you generally lose quality while using this kind of digital zooms apart from that if you would like to focus on some specific area it's suggested to go for tapping on the area which you would like to focus so let us say we would like to focus on this area and you would hear a small voice following which the camera is generally focusing on that specific part and then you need to press the shutter button and the phone would be saved the capture would be saved when you would like to capture a video you know tap on the video option but ensure that 
in case of the HTC One series, when you tap on this video option, the recording instantly begins, like this. So that was the recording done by this phone. Let us just check out how it came out. Pretty decent. So that was the camera of the HTC One V and the applications which come pre-installed onto this. The display size is around 3.7 inches and the HTC One X is of 4.7 inches but if you are a person who does a lot of text messaging and who generally prefers using the phone on one hand like the Apple iPhone users then the HTC One V is generally suggested to you because of the perfect size for your hands but if you are a person who is a multimedia guy who generally prefers playing games or browsing the web then HTC One X is the one for you one final thing we would do is checking out the browser which comes pre-installed onto this device and checking out how is the performance of the same so let us just open our blog that's android devices so here the blog is has just opened and as you can see it's currently in the mobile mode and we are easily able to drag up and down but still not it's not as neat and as perfect as it was in the HTC One X smartphone but it's pretty much okay you can enjoy this feature and let us just go into once article and check out how it looks and then right now as you can see the phone is in the portrait mode and we'll turn into the landscape mode and also give a check again so let us just convert it directly into the landscape mode and check how it goes so it was perfectly facing into this mode and in case you would like to disable the flash then you have that option specifically available under the menu using which you can disable flash generally under settings here as you can see it says view flash player view desktop side so these two are some useful options available for you wherein if you feel that your website or any specific website has flash enabled then it's suggested to enable that option so that you can access those websites something like the miniclip.com kind of websites so apart from that as you can see the flow is good and you are easily able to access the web